Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from the Dragon Art Info, and today I have a replay in my AS2, as you can see here. We are here on steps and we're top tier. We do have a couple more heavies in the enemy team, I do believe. Yeah, a couple. So, things are sort of in our favor, if it wasn't for people randomly shooting at nothing. Okay. So anyways, we are heading over to the... Um, western flank here and hopefully do some good work um, as you can see on my reload time I'm using the 100 millimeter gun again I switched back from the first 122 mil back to the 100 I've had one good game in the 122 the first 122 I should say and that was about it other than that I just get frustrated at how often it misses and just the aim time plus accuracy makes it miss even more so, yeah, I switched back to the 100 mil. Um, I think it's one of the best stock guns I've had. And the artillery did not work that very well. I'm aiming bots. So, is he saying he's an aiming bot, or is he saying he's aiming at the bottom? <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure. Anyways, we're coming around the corner here, and there's a buttload of targets right around there. Issue 100 pulling back. KV1, hello! And we just hit his track. Oh, <laughs> I had so much bad luck. So much bad RNG in here. And he pulls back before I could aim. Hatch of KV2, miss. Or rather, a turret. Pull back for this SU 152. Don't really want to get shot in the face. I don't think he realizes what my reload is. Ah, that just bounce dang it what's this wolverine doing really you gonna park like right behind me and we have a 285 40 shot in first damage shot of the game woohoo and it's in a medium tank that's not very freaking right. okay we finally have a good shot into this uh, su 152 pulling back around the corner here but shit i gave him room to move that was stupid trying to side scrape here see if we can Seeing if I can uh, lure a shot out of him. If it hits my tracks at that angle, it's not likely to do anything, but it is HE, more than likely. Crap. Well, shit. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone around this corner. Now I gave him room to uh, move up. I don't know how far he can see me around this corner, though. Like with gun depression and all. He's not firing. VK, what are you doing? Go away. And ow. I know I'm gonna beat his reload though. That's the good thing about using this gun. You can beat people's reload. Oh, stupid. I hit his frigging gun, man. This time I do not pull back so I don't give him room to uh, move up. Put one into his frontal armor. He moves up, I move back. And really, VK, that's where you're frigging for? Luckily, he doesn't shoot me, he shoots somebody else. Well, fine by me. Okay, what do we have? We have a KV-1 hiding. Not well enough. <laughs> Put shot into his ass. I'm just worried about that KV-2 down there. And we finish him off. KV-2 is pre-aimed at my location. Trying to make a miss. There we go. We made a miss. And he's falling back. Dang it. Okay. What do we have here? We have a Wolverine, no, a Hellcat, sorry. Wolverine is the one that was sitting behind me. Okay, my tank's confused today. <laughs> so, so far it's been a pretty intense game. Um, on this corner, lots and lots of action. Check in, do I have a, no, don't have a line that Bishop. Where's this Hellcat? There he is, put a shot in. Sadly, he puts one into me as I reverse, and he takes out my tracks. And I don't know if this VK meant to do that or not, but he actually pushed the uh, Wolverine corpse in my point of view, and the Hellcat couldn't shoot me. Really don't know if that was intended or not. If it was, thanks. If it wasn't, learn to drive. <laughs> KV2 is aiming at me again, so we pull back. But yeah, this 7.8 second reload really is nice. KV2 is shooting AP. He is not shooting AG. He does not have the derp gun. 
and we have a KV-1 just sitting there. Bounce a shot from a KV-2, and we bounce on a KV-1. Dang it, come on! <laughs> pen already! It is only 175mm of pen. That shot went, I have no idea. I think it hit behind him or something. Went straight through his tank, apparently. Trying to aim uh, just underneath his gun there, and they already finished him off. Okay, we have a KV-2 down there, and we're doing pretty well. Put a speculative shot in just to make him pull back. He puts one into us, but it bounces. And now we have him on the ropes. I can potentially finish him off in one shot if I get a decent roll. If I get a decent roll. <laughs> Target P, shit. Okay, he's around the hill. I just double check there. That's why I went back immediately. Because I do not want to be dealing with two people at the same time. And... What?! Wow! I mean, he went forward, yeah, but that shot should have never missed. Wow, that sucked. Holy crap, how did that miss? Point blank into the side of his turret. Wow. That was just amazing. <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't too happy when I was actually playing this game. It's so much bad RNG. Hitting the gun mantlet on that SU-152. Bouncing on a KV-1, then missing on a KV-1. Then missing the broadside of the turret of a freaking KV-2. Oh, depression, 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 there we go. And there's the money shot, right into his ass. Aim for his turret, but his ass works as well. I think he finally realizes where I am. Put one into his engine deck. Sadly, do not light him on fire. We take the high ground here. I check the minimap, nobody else has a line on me, so I can just sit here safely. Don't have the depression again. Side of the turret. I think I made him flinch there, because he shot while his turret wasn't even turned toward anyone yet. Pull another one into the side of his turret. Can we finish him off? He has 27 health left. He that depression. He's turning his gun. Suck it! <laughs> Our reload beats your turret. And that's what I mean with this 100 mil. Its reload is exactly right. It's exactly where you want it. And I feel with the 122 mil, it's at 12 seconds. It hurts. Every time you're on reload, you're wishing you had the t you know, that you were reloaded so you could fire again. I mean, it's almost double this reload. So, yeah, I like this gun. This 100mm seems to work just fine for me. I will research the final 122 and I will try it out, obviously. But, so far, I have to say, this is one of the nicer grinds I've done. It's another KV-2. Ow, he is definitely shooting HE. We put him at 73 health though, but both our tracks have been blown off. I don't use a repair kit because I know I'm facing a KV-2. So, you know. <laughs> I know he's not going to reload before I fix my tracks. His reload, let's say at the very, very best, 20 seconds. Fixing tracks, 10 seconds. I know I can beat his uh, reload. Okay, we go into the low ground here, because I don't know who spotted him. I don't know if I spotted him or not, because I don't have six cents. So I'm waiting here, because I don't want to drive out in front of his gun. It's as simple as that. I'm waiting to go invisible, and then I'm backing out and going the other way. Because, you know, I'm just not going to drive in front of his gun. Oh, and the KV-1S did. Come on, can we finish him off? Oh, no, must have hit his gun mantler or something, but again, this reload, take your time, put him underneath his gun mantlet, and put him in for the fourth kill, let's take a look at the stats. So, that was good enough for a mastery badge first class, only first class though, dang, we got a high caliber medal, and let's see what we did, I didn't do a whole lot of, we got a bit of spawning damage there. Damage his fuel tank in his track, and we got some spawning damage there, and ammo rack damage on target P. Yeah. So, we did 35, almost 3600 damage. We got more than double the experience of the next person. And if you add up the first, eh, I would say the first three people damage wise, yeah, you have about what I did. So the next three people added up together only did what I did. Holy crap. Yeah. Double the experience as the next person, more damage than the next three people combined. I did quite a bit. 
and accuracy though. Um, 27 shots, 22 hits, only 18 pins. Got 600 damage blocked by armor, which is nice. Spotted a couple, damaged a couple. Little bit of spotting damage. 50k from an event. So even without an event, it would have still been, what, close to 30k profit? That's not bad for just a tier 7 non-premium tank. Not bad at all. And we got 2700 experience for our daily double. I would say that was a pretty damn good game. And I like my IS-2, and it's a keeper. This thing is never leaving my garage. I like it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.